Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up Vlog number 160, race day. This is round four of the WKG Racing League, Lethal Leith Hill. The course is one lap of the Greatest London Loop, I think it's called, where we basically do 12 or 13 kilometers, pretty flat, fast, furious racing. And then the final few kilometers, boom, straight up Leith Hill, down the other side and round to a finish line. So it's, uh, I think it's gonna be all about getting in a good group right from the start. So my usual tactic of slow, steady from the start and then try and work my way back in, possibly isn't gonna serve me very well in this one, but we'll see how, we'll see how everybody else takes off. But yeah, the likelihood is I'm gonna have to jump onto a, a fast group and work my nuts off basically <laughs> right from the beginning. Um, my heart rate monitor, it's been intermittent again. I've even, I've tried the old uh, the Nivea lip balm technique. It came on, went off, came on, went off. And it seems to have stayed off at the moment. Um, obviously that's not, not ideal. I'm trying something else new today as well. I'm going to do a screen recording on my iPad where I've logged in as Lucas, my son. I've logged in on his account. Um, I've put him in the A's and so far, it doesn't look like any other A's have turned up in the start pen, which could destroy this, uh, the idea behind this straight away. But basically, I was going to be able to use it to screen record other riders in their race without me having to change the view on my screen so that um, we can basically run another window somewhere up in this video with the, with the other race, the other riders going on. And I don't have to compromise my own position as much as I have done in previous races with, with trying to sort of look around and get a, get a good view of everybody. Uh, but like I say, at the moment, Lucas is the only one showing in the list of riders in the A category. And this is only going to work if the second the, um, the start light goes, I'm able to uh, select another rider within that category to follow around on the screen. So you'll know by, you, you already know, if it's not recorded, if you're not seeing anything on your, your screen very soon um, <laughs> from other riders, then you'll know it hasn't worked already. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm super unprepared for this one, which, again, very unlike me. Uh, but I literally got up, watched the Grand Prix. Um, I've not brushed my hair. I've not washed or anything. It's quite disgusting. This is a clean kit, by the way. This isn't the same kit that I wore for the uh, Sir Emmanuel ride yesterday. This is the the premium WKG kit that I'm wearing today. So at least that's clean, even if I'm not. So you're lucky this isn't smell vision because it's not gonna be pleasant. I did a very quick 5K warm up. Tried to up, oh look, my heart rate, as I mentioned, about to say, tried to bump my heart rate up. Um, my monitor has come back on, so uh, I did that and I'm still actually, my heart rate's reasonably steady there, but I still feel slightly out of breath, but that might be because I'm talking at 700 words a minute. Great to see so many of you here. We've got all the usual suspects. Everybody at the moment looks like they're in the team kit, which is even more exciting. And um, yeah, it looks like a really strong crowd. We've got 31 showing up in this start pen already. All right, it's showing two over in the A category start pen. But still, I can only see Lucas's name in the list of riders. Like I say, I have absolutely no, no idea how this is going to work out. Um, worst case scenario is I just carry on as usual and um, try and jump around the riders as best I can. Uh, again, it will be determined by where I am in the race, who I'm battling with, how tight it is, etc. etc. So there we go. Um, I'm going to shut up for two minutes, try and just get my breath back a little bit. And um, I'll, I'll jump to 10 seconds before the start. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we are off. Have a good race, everybody. Good luck. Whew. 
Right, it was a pretty frantic start, pretty high pace, uh, and we split into some very distinct groups, and I managed to get in with most of the guys that I think I'd quite like to be in with, so I'm pretty pleased with that, but that has taken a fair bit out of me, definitely a faster open in five minutes than ideally I'd have wanted but we'll see how I can recover within this bunch before we get to the climbs so around me we've got Dave Crook, T Clark, Nick Pouton, Vela Viking, Jane Coates, MC3, D Cass, V Platinov, Rudy Pausma, uh, myself, Colin Tresseder, no sorry Colin's 21 seconds back, uh, who's that there? Paul Somerville is in this group. Dave Harmsworth's in here. Apologies, anyone I've missed. Brian Roden, he's there as well. Whew. I am sweating. Oh, man. Been riding five minutes, done 4K. I am sweating. See if my fan's got anything more to give. No, not really. <laughs> I can see up front we've got Kenny Scranstead with a wheel, wheels rider, T John, Akimot. Uh, sorry guys, I can't read, <laughs> can't read it that well from here. And maintain focus. But at least it looks like possibly got the screen recording going off the front of the race, which is great. Oh, I seriously need this to settle down before we get to Leith Hill. Oh, I am dead. <laughs> I can feel it already. I will probably, probably, or properly pop as soon as we start properly climbing. Not feeling it at all. I've eaten only a banana this morning. Everything was just so much of a rush. Worst possible preparation. But I have the same opportunities that everyone else does. So no excuses. Hey, thank you, Mrs. Trilk, for the ride on. I know Mr. and Mrs. Trilk are both in here somewhere. It's great to have you. Apologies that I wasn't able to bend the rules to shoehorn you into the league, but if I do it for one, I have to do it for everybody. So, and I know you understand. You understood and were uh, very accepting of that fact. So I appreciate that. But definitely get yourself signed up for the next one. So I can see. Two of my key rivals are in this bunch with Jane Coates and Darren Hunter. I have um, provisionally added Nick Poos onto that list as well, given the, <laughs> the tightness of the last couple of races. Uh, but I don't think Rink was able to make it. And I think Keith and Catherine Denton are in the group just a little bit further back. And past experience will tell me that means na absolutely nothing when we get to the climb. Hey, cheers Darren for the ride on. I'm not going to risk losing concentration by giving, <laughs> giving ride ons back, I'm afraid. I'll do it at the end. And Dee Mahoney also, thank you very much. Hey, Nadja. Mrs. Nadja Mentz. Thank you very much for the ride on. Great to see you again. Well, just a quick uh, shout out to uh, couple of people. Firstly, Joe Harvey is not feeling well at all. 
So awesome of you to be here, my friend. And don't panic if you can't make it to the end. I'll make sure there's another kit unlock race or ride very soon. Certainly don't want you to miss out. And secondly, just ahead of me there, Mr. Davis, I know uh, you've been having uh, back problems. So there's a good chance you're in a fair amount of discomfort. So chapeau, dude. Sticking with this bunch. And uh, just don't overdo it, please. <laughs> We're not far from the hills now, where the fun will really start. I've got my trainer on 50% realism, as I always do for the races. And uh, I'm hoping that by having had it on 100% for the training, the... Uh, <laughs> Someone's saying I've disguised myself in that new helmet. <laughs> I was hoping it gave some kind of aero benefit, but I'm not convinced. Um, I also went for the Cervelo as well, so I wasn't sticking out like a sore thumb on the Tron bike. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm hoping basically after training on 100% realism, 50% on the hills during a race, I'll just feel a little bit more, make me feel a bit more sprightly and obviously hold a higher cadence which will help, hopefully. That's the theory. So look at the other screen, how are we doing? I'm watching Paul Sharp at the moment. Still in the lead group, in third place at the moment. That bunch are coming out of the tunnel, just about to hit, hit the hills. If I slip into the ocean uh, so this group, I think, has swollen slightly. I think we picked up some riders that had broken slightly ahead. So we've got R. Powersma, T. Clark, D. Crook, C. Tressida, D. Lindbridge, or Lindridge, uh, C. Davis, P. Wilson, N. Pusson, Mr. Snorefoli, Vela Viking, V. Platinov, D. Hunter, D. Kaz, M. Neal, L. Capel, and whoever else is behind me. Oh, I'm dropping off a bit. Oh, I can't afford that. Come on, 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 come on. Worst possible time to have lost focus. That was ridiculously stupid. And it's just meant I've had to put in a harder kick to get back on just before we start climbing. Stupid. Come on, Marcus, pay attention. Okay, right turn ahead. And start looking upwards. Swallow me up in one motion, though. She's my queen, I show devotion. Where's my life? I'm still both. Hey, cheers, Kev, for the ride on. Here goes Brian Roden past me like I'm not moving. I think Peter Wilson could be next. He's come up very quickly. Darren's dropped back a bit, uh, but I've had this before with him on a climb. Only to be caught on the other side. Jane is absolutely flying, as is Nick Pusson. 13 and 11 seconds ahead, respectively. Then we've got Colin Chester, the T Clark, six up the road, Robert Mickelson, four up the road, then Brian, Peter, and myself. D Kaz just eight seconds back, then Len at nine, Darren at 16, D Lindridge, 21, Velo Viking, 39, and T Raz, 54. And Peter and Brian have left me. Unsurprisingly, ah, what's going on at the front? Watching Wilts Rider. We've got a wheel with a pretty commanding lead. Managed to pull away out front. All right, I don't think I can get caught up in trying to fight with Len and DKS. I'll go too far into the red. 
So I think I'm just going to have to try and hold this pace for a while, whatever happens around me. Hey, cheers, Steve Clark, for the ride on. Great to see you. Okay, here comes Len and DKAS. I think the best I can do, best I can hope for, is I can latch on for a bit. Okay, he starts the KOM for Leith Hill, which is where the bonus points will be awarded. Still got a wheel out front. It's uh, Akimot with Kenneth, a handful of seconds behind. Wilts Rider, just a second ahead. And I'm just going to tuck in on DCAS for a while here with Len. I hope the three of us can keep away from D Lindridge, Darren Hunter. I actually really needed these guys to join me, so it's a blessing in disguise that. There was no point in fighting them, they were clearly stronger. But it's given me that little bit of respite to hopefully see me over the top ahead of at least one of my key rivals. So a wheel now on the descent on the other side. Good job, man. Oh man, these guys are kicking. I can't keep doing it. <laughs> I can't hold the wheel here. I've got Glenn Dinning coming past me at five watts per kilogram. All right, from the League riders in the seas, it looks like Duncan Bruce has got the KOM points. Good, man. Good job, man. I can see on my other screen, K wheel, sorry, A wheel, coming through the subway to head towards the city and the finish line. I'm going to have to try and remember to flick away from him before he finishes, or that will get dumped out of the, the module. Oh, dearie me, this is not easy today, really suffering. I've got S. Brendan now, coming past, see if I can grab a wheel. Doesn't look like it. Ah, that hurts. Oh. All right, well done, A wheel. I'm going to flip back to Paul Sharp, so A will has wrapped that one up. Looks like Paul's going to take it in the league, in the A category. Good job, man. I need this downhill very desperately. Darren's closing back in again. Excellent effort. Paul's in the city. It's going to take the league win and second overall. Then we've got C J U. And M lies or Lee's coming up next. Last dig to the banner. Try and carry some speed over the top. That hurts. Ah, ah, I did exactly what I didn't want to do. Come out of the event module. Ah, oh, guys. Oh, here we go. We've got, got a sprint I'm going to get to see with Kenneth and 
Hack him at least. Here we go. Here we go. Who's got this one? Oh, it's Cam Flynn. I was reading the names all wrong. Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, well, I've missed that. See if I can pick up with anyone else. Any other league riders while I'm here? There's Evelyn Ayres. All right. Ah, uh, oh man, even with another screen, I'm taking my eye off the ball. I needed to be on the power way before this. Come on. Oh, now my gears are all over the place. This is not good. Darren is literally going to mug me in a second. I've had this before with him on this exact course. <laughs> All right, here comes Darren. I'm going to hit my draft boost for when he gets here. Ah, he stayed behind me. Sneaky. <sighs> ah, man, so I've wasted my, bo my boost. <laughs> Good move, Darren. I like that. That draft might have been useful in a sprint. And I don't know what kind of power-ups Darren's got. But I have none now. We've got to both be careful of uh, S. Ken coming up behind us. I know it's not for league position, but Darren's saying he gives up. But I've got this, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. There's S. Ken going ahead of us. I shouldn't ignore other riders that aren't in the league. This is for race position, but unfortunately... There's only, I think there's only one point separating Darren and I in the league at the moment. And uh, this is too important not to focus on. Now he's going for it. I literally ground to a halt. I'm back on this, Ken. Oh, man. It's going to come down to a sprint. I just did my legs doing that little climb. And it's getting so cagey. I'm going to have to absolutely have my wits about me here. Look for any kind of sign of attack. Try and time my sprint. Don't want to be in front <laughs> going into the last few hundred metres. Apologies again. I'm not being able to focus on everyone else's races. All right, 600 meters to go. <laughs> One watt per kilogram from Darren for a second. Here he goes, here he goes. He's picking it up a bit. Still too far out, we've got 500 meters. Thanks for the ride on Akin. Great sprint you had. I'm still not quite sure who got it. I think it was uh, Cam Flynn. I'm still not absolutely convinced. Darren's just sitting in my wheel. He doesn't want to go first. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> He's still going. He's still going. <laughs> yes! Oh! Unlucky, Dan. Oh, man. That was good fun. Oh, man. 
I just managed to push this for a second longer and that was it. That was what made the difference. Oh, Jesus. Let's see if I can get anyone else coming in. It's so hard to spar. Once you're out of the, out of the module, there's Akim, who is out, uh, finished his race some time ago. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to find anyone. Sorry, guys. Oh, my word. Oh, that was fun. I had exactly that scenario with Darren before where I had what seemed like a comfortable lead going over the going over the crest of Lee Hill <laughs> only to be drawn back at a ridiculous speed uh, luckily this time I was able to tag on and sprint it out that made it really good fun great race Darren, great race everyone right let's quickly run through the results ah someone I obviously completely missed that actually won it, D Shanks, I was following A Wheel the whole time but D Shanks took it, followed by A Wheel and Paul Sharp, who also takes the win for the league points. Great job, man. Then we have CJ and M. Lees, or Lies, followed by Wilts Rider, Akimot. Ah, so that little sprint there. Hang on, was I getting the names all wrong? So it looks like they're more, they're further split time-wise. So I don't know what I was looking at then. Maybe that wasn't a sprint for the line. But anyway, Akimot takes seven, then Cam Flynn, then Cam, then... Kenny Scram said, ah, so there's the sprint. Look, there's four tenths of a second separating Cam and Kenneth. And then Nick Taylor comes in behind. Then we have Evelyn Ayres, H. Sukakawa, K. Yoshida, Arya Hansen. So yeah, Arya uh, Arya Hansen, Y. Butata. Then we have D. Bruce, N. Koch, H. Summerson, T. Tagi, Emmanuel Pearson, R. Pausma, D. Crook, T. Quinn. P. Lopez Leto, Leto, M. Seafried, and that's the group I really needed to be with going up Leith Hill, but they were too far too strong for me today. Uh, A. Glenn Dinning, C. Davis, B. Roden, J. Pocock, P. Somerville, T. Clark, P. Wilson, J. Coates, for the first of my rivals, well and truly blowing me to the weeds. Absolutely storming performance. Look at that, right on the absolute limits of the category. I know, I, I know these hilly ones are perfect for Jane. She's absolutely, she just completely flies and destroys those kind of climbs. So, excellent job. So, after Jane, we have C. Tressida, R. Mickelson, N. Pouson, L. Capel, S. Brennan, D. Cass, S. Ken, and then myself and Darren. <laughs> uh, that makes it look more than it was, uh, but I think it's. I think it was just that uh, my momentum carried me further towards the line in the end there. But great, really great fun. After, D, after Darren Hunter, we have D Harmsworth, D Lindridge, L Smile, Velo Viking, uh, S Edgington, P Triok, T Zaz, M Mitchell, Catherine D, W Bond. All right, so Catherine. All right, so I think it is only Jane out of my list of five. Well, a list of six if I include uh, Nick Pousson. Uh, but I think from my list of five, it's only Jane that managed to take points from me. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, <clears throat> so after Catherine Denton, we have W Bond. I'm just going to stop the screen recording on, on my iPad because that will be filling up my hard drive big time. Uh, someone else just come in. Hey, Mr. Reese Evans. Ah, uh, so. Oh, we've still got a few, few finish, ugh, finishes to come over the line. I couldn't have done much more than that. Look, my average was 2.8. That's kind of, that's, that's where I am at the moment. Uh, definitely wasn't feeling 100%, I've got to be honest. But still, it was a good tight race with those around me. Really good fun. Let's go and check the categories. I know not everybody's finished, although some more have just come in. Hey, there's Mr. Denton and T. Marquez and Mrs. Trilk. So great to see you all coming across the line along with Patrick Baker. Great job, man. I think that's a win in the Ds for Patrick. 
and he was very closely followed by N. Conlon. I'm doing exactly what I do every time, and there's no need for me to be grinding through the gears, pushing hard after I finish, but I seem to have hit a hill, and I'm in a really tough gear. So, right, there we go. Just gently spin. Uh, right, let's check out the categories very quickly. We have, in the A category, D. Shanks, A. Will, P. Sharp taking the podium. Then we have Aki Mott, Eve Linares, and H. Sukakawa. Rounding it off, so in the league, that is a Mr. Sharp win for the 20 points and possibly the bonus. I'll have to check that. B cap. We have CJ, who M. Lees and Wilts Ryder taking the podium with um, Wilts taking it first place for the league, followed by Cam Flynn, second place in the league, and Kenneth Scramstad taking third in the league. So, uh, excellent job, guys. And then we will flick through to the C category. We have K. Yoshida, Wide Butata. And D. Bruce taking first, second, third. So, podium for the league once again. We have Duncan Bruce taking first. Uh, Rudy Palsmer, I believe, will be taking second. And who there is and isn't in the league? C category is always confusing. There's so many riders, I keep forgetting who's who. I'm going to say that it's Mr. Davis taking third there in the league. And if that is the case, and with your bad back, even more stunning job. Uh, I picked up 17th overall with maybe one, two, three, maybe only four or five riders ahead of me that aren't in the league. So not quite a top 10, but some useful points. Jane did a stunning job, as I mentioned, to take a really good haul of points in the C-Cat. Then we go to the Ds. Patrick Baker winning that very comfortably. Very good job, man. Uh, M. Conlon coming over next. And then M. Ward to take the podium in the league. I think Nadja Mentz is still out there. Um, I'm not entirely sure which other D riders. Matt King, were you riding this week? I can't remember. Um, Joe, I know, started but wasn't well at all. So there's a good chance wasn't able to finish, um, quite understandably. Um, but anyway, I will keep this running so I can get all the results in. Um, just as W. Serpentier comes over the line. Um, but I will, I will wrap up now. I've got a busy day. I've got to take my kids swimming then come back and watch the uh, Amstel Gold Race. So obviously it's all go in my house. <laughs> and obviously edit, and edit a vlog, upload a, a league table. I will update. By the way, I think I made an error with regards to the uh, sprint bonus points from the last race in the B category or maybe the C. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, but I have made a note of it. So I will... Um, correct that before updating the league, hopefully this evening. Um, that's it. So there we go. The winner, uh, Noel McGrath, he was out. Of course Noel was out there. What am I talking about? How could I have forgotten Noel McGrath's out there? Good job, man. So he comes through to take what looks like second in the league for the Ds. Um, so Mr. P Sharp, rather unsurprisingly, takes the first league win in the new WKG kit. So congratulations, my friend. Excellent job, as always. Uh, right, I'm wrapping up, I'm shutting up. I'm going to revel in the glory of beating Darren Hunter in a sprint <laughs> and uh, have a shower. And thank you all very, very much for racing. Thank you all for watching. And I will catch you very soon.